guys, how's it going? This is Bobby Kryptonite here, and welcome to another Bobby K Bikes video. Today, we're going to be working on the upside down rally super burner. Why is it upside down? As you can remember, we put a nice new layback seat post in it in February 2017, but unfortunately, the seat post got bent because it wasn't in far enough due to rust on the inside of this tube, so my weight riding it with a bag full of cameras caused the post to bend backwards. So we've got a new seat post that we're going to fit, but before I do that, I want to sand out the inside of this tube, get it nice and smooth, get rid of the rust so that it'll take the, the new post, and I can get it down to such a height that I can ride it without bending it, I hope. The reason the bike is upside down is so that I can do the sanding on the inside of this tube without any dirt or rust falling into the bottom bracket, which would mean I'd have to rebuild it. So, let's get cracking. Going to begin by removing the Allen key bolt in this clamp. Is that done? We should now be able to move the post. I've taped a piece of sandpaper around an old lever arm from a car jack. Let's see what we can do. Quite a bit of resistance, so I think I've maybe hit a bit where it's rusty. I've now gone for taping sandpaper around this skinnier piece of rod which allows me to get in a bit longer but also to get a bit more pressure on the areas rather than doing the whole diameter at once focusing on little areas and working my way around. I want to be. I am beginning to make some progress with this. I put the bike back on its wheels and decided that I would just rebuild the bottom bracket anyway because this bottom bracket's never had new bearings in the time that I've had it. First it was on its original bearings and when I discovered what a terrible state they were in I put the bearings that I took out of the night burner in it as they were slightly better. The, the races weren't cracked. So the we're getting there, I think. I've been doing a bit of trial and error, taking it in and out, sanding it with different things, and I've got it that I've got a couple of inches between the bottom of the Mirage sticker and the top of the seat tube. Now, the owner of Unit 23 Skate Park once told me that from my layback seat post to not get bent, I should have it slammed right down so that the bracing is at the top of the seat tube. So that's what I'm ultimately aiming for. I'll take it out sand it, try again. I'm pleased to say that another round of that treatment has got it to a point that I'm happy with it. So now all that remains to be done is to clean it up and put the seat clamp on. On the last layback post, as well as damaging it here, I damaged it there. This was because the seat guts and my seat weren't quite a good fit and it turned the cross section of the post of the tube to oval. So, I'm going to hang fire with refitting the seat guts and the seat. I'll, um, I'll buy new seat guts, and I'll, I'll run with the, the modern We The People saddle for now, but long term I want to get another old school saddle on there. 
I've cleaned that area up and fitted my new clamp. I think it looks very nice. Now all that remains is a Scottish old school BMX group sticker. So there we are. I must say, I think the bike looks a lot better. I've just mocked it up now with the seat in place but not bolted on to see what it should look like. Certainly looks a lot better than when the seat post was bent. I got a lot of ribbing for that um, a few weeks ago. I had been hoping to change the post before the Scottish Old School BMX group ride out to the Kelpies, but I was just run off my feet, never got a chance, so a lot of people were asking what had happened, so we're sorted. With any luck, the bike should be looking good and be a good bike by the time of the next ride out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you did, please leave a like, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you in the next video. Tatty bye.